thank you all for coming here. Um, exciting, exciting to see so many of you. Um, uh, as a reminder, this is getting recorded and streamed, so keep that in mind. Um, yeah, as I said, thanks for um, thanks for coming, um, and thanks for all you've done for the project. Um, and like, um, like PRs, bug reports, documentation, um, user support, um, and like media and, and blog posts and all the surrounding tools you have created. Thank you. Um, and thanks for being a welcoming community on, on Discord and, and everywhere. Um, and thanks to Kevin and Emily for, for organizing. And um, yeah, it's project has grown pretty quickly um, from, I mean, it's about six years old now. Um, but yeah, it's it's the last few years have uh, grown exponentially, as you can see. Uh, so I was going to just start with talking a bit about the early development uh, history. Um, and um, it started almost six years ago now. Um, the first commit from that date, uh, October 2019, um, was a small commit with just like 100 lines of code or no, less, um, but already some some familiar code, like the especially the the pluggable backend uh, was planned from commit one. Apparently, I didn't even remember this. Um, and um, yeah, the, it started. Uh, probably many of you know it started just to, as an experiment with the working copy as commit uh, feature to see how how that would work and turn out to work pretty well. So um, continued on the project for, for a while. And then like the uh, first class conflicts uh, feature kind of grew out of that because when you have conflicts in the working copy, you don't want to be stuck you, if the working copy is, is a commit and should be able to handle this conflict to state too. So uh, I was, I kind of had to figure out how to, to handle this. Um, and uh, I, I had some early version working with uh, some simple conflicts. Um, and then like in uh, April, uh, I got, got it to work, like refactored and, and got it to work with, modeled a bit differently. Uh, and then it started working like pretty much the same way it currently does when you can like, reorder a chain of commits and like several times and and if you go back to the original states the conflicts are gone and that was a pretty exciting moment when 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 i got that to to, to see that actually worked in practice um then the uh, a few months later um i was trying to figure out how to make the internal apis simpler or simple uh for uh for, so each command did not have to like worry about concurrent uh, changes by other commands or anything else that could have happened to the repo. Um, and that's where the operation log came from. Um, and like then it was just a happy accident that it turned out to be useful for undo and, and uh, restoring the repo too. Um, then, um, yeah, and like six months after that or so, uh, we moved the repository to to GitHub uh, from my internal material material repository. Um, and uh, uh, right, yeah. So so and and like a, a few months after, um, I realized that like after having had these first class conflicts for for a year or something, I realized that this actually means that you can always rebase all the descendants. All the time, and also because uh, JD was faster than I expected. Uh, like after having worked with Mercurial, uh, it turns out you can actually. It, it, it's a good user experience to just always rebase all the commits. Um, so I enable that by default. 
Um, yeah, and then um, uh, the next year uh, in February, we saw JJ on the Hacking News front page for the first time. Um, and I, that was the first real attention the project got. Um, and like, pretty soon after that, we, we got approval to start the integrations at Google. So it was a very exciting uh, time for, for me. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, like two years after we, we got our first uh, internal users, uh, about 20 users, uh, roll out about 20 users, then uh, they were mostly pretty happy already then, but like we have obviously improved a lot of things since then. Uh, and now just any day now, we're at what we consider the open, uh, open beta release, which means anyone can use it and um, still have some bugs, of course, and uh, features were missing. But uh, um, yeah, we have about eight, uh, 900 users uh, and growing quickly. Uh, externally, I don't know, I uh, guess we have at least 100 users or so. Uh, hard to know. Um, probably similar shape to the GitHub star history, maybe. So it's maybe growing pretty quickly. But who knows? Um, yeah. And so what I'm looking forward to in the future, um, short term, we have, we still don't have copy. Uh, tracking support as, as you probably have discovered. Um, so we, we have a design after a lot of time spent on that. Um, and I'm hopefully it will work. Uh, we're working on getting that actually implemented. Uh, so that means you should be able to like the, uh, re rebase a commit even if it was if the files were upstream, uh, renamed upstream, for example. Um, and yeah, I think we can we can get um, like a, a, a get blame for example to work well with uh, this copy history. We, we will be able to model like uh, merged files, which I, I think most other pieces don't. Uh, so I'm excited to see how how that turns out with for for blame, and maybe we'll even be able to uh, propagate changes uh, when you move parts of the file into another file. But that's a lot of work. We'll see how it goes. Um, um, and like another feature we're missing today is the RPC API. We talked a bit about it. Um, it makes it hard for integrations. Currently, they, we have the JJLib library, but uh, it's too low level. It's one problem. So we can just move more into it. So that's not a big problem. Um, and so like GD, I think currently uses it, but they have to duplicate a bunch of stuff. Um, but like the, another benefit of the RPC API, uh, it would be that we can, um, that, uh, uh, the integrations will be able to use the, any uh, custom backends, like at Google, for example, we have custom backends for our, all our storage. Um, and like, if you, if you run the. Uh, if you run GG internally, that just doesn't work because it doesn't know about our backends. Um, and yeah, an another big thing we're looking forward to is uh, cloud-based hosting, like we, like we have at Google. Um, so East River Social Control is uh, working on uh, exciting stuff there, um, and I'm hopeful we will be able to um, make life better for game studios especially uh, um, because they they work with large files and, uh, and they can't use git currently many of them uh, because git expects or uh yeah git, git's not very good at dealing with large files in general um and i also hope we'll be able to uh, see a, a uh, an open source vfs um, someday uh, like like the one we have at Google, so you can also more uh, efficiently work with large files, especially. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, some practical things for uh, for today. 
Um, on Discord, there's a JJCon channel uh, where you can, like, if you have any questions or any, want to share anything here. Um, the rough schedule, you can, you can find it. There's a link from that JJCon channel and there's a, it's on the wiki. Uh, it links to the wiki. Um, the, 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 the full schedule, but like, um, this, the morning we'll spend here in, in Mariposa Grove um, with, we'll have talks here. Then lunch will be served in the lobby. Um, and then uh, there will be design discussions here and uh, in Walker Canyon, which is across from the lobby. Um, and maybe some other smaller rooms if, if necessary. And yeah, yeah, uh, please mute your cell phones. Um, the um, unconference in person. Uh, what, what was this, Kevin? Sorry. So there's a whiteboard at the back over there. Um, at your topics there. And, um, yeah. Uh, everyone heard that there's a backboard, whiteboard in the back, uh, where you can add topics for the uh, unconference part. Um, yeah, if you haven't checked in in the lobby, you will get a t-shirt and stickers. Um, and we have access, you have access to much of the story. Uh, if there's a door where you need a badge, you don't have access, obviously. Um, there are bathrooms, I think, out this way. Um, there is some gender neutral and more private bathrooms further that way. Um, and also like um, the organizers here, we wear this beige uh, t-shirt with the JD logo. So if you have any questions, you can find one of us. Yeah, that's it. Thank you.